Hello there, in this guide I want to show you how to fix this error message from Valorant when you try to launch it and it says a D3D11 compatible GPU is required to run this engine. Now the cause of this error message and crash is most of the time related to a bad driver with corrupt files or just a terrible update you've done recently. So what will help is a clean reinstall of the driver. And to do this, we will need to download this tool right here. It's free and the link to it will be in the video description. Now, after clicking on the green download button and the download is finished, we go ahead to the archive and then we right click on it, choose extract all, then choose the folder you want to extract to. I'll just leave it here the way it is. It's going to put it on my desktop. We open the extracted folder. Inside it, we'll find this self-extracting file. We open it. Then we choose, again, a path. I'll leave it as default. It's going to create it inside this folder here with the default. Then we go ahead and open it. Then we open Display Driver Uninstaller. First time you open it, it's going to give you a warning. We just dismiss it. We click on OK. And here, after you click on OK, it's going to present us with multiple options. You don't have to change any of this, just leave it as it is. Then just close it here in the bottom right button. We click on OK on this as well. After that, we go to the right drop down here. We select our device from it. If it's going to be audio or GPU, for us it's going to be GPU. Then we select which GPU, if we have multiple. Make sure to select the primary one that you used to play the game with. After that, we go ahead to these options on the left and we select the first one clean and restart it will take a while for it to finish the cleaning process so be patient with it and after it's done it's going to restart the pc for you when the restart is done windows will install the drivers for your display automatically if it doesn't then you can just go ahead to your driver website and download your appropriate drivers like here with nvidia just downloading the NVIDIA app and then going through its installation process here. And you can choose to update the driver as well. I did update mine and the game still works just fine. So I hope this guide helps you out and peace out.